Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Hobson and I'm going to talk you through how to create a successful Who Do You Know list. Now everybody in business, uh, whatever business you're in, will need a database. We are a network marketing company so you will know from the, from the get-go that you need to network. So the first thing that we need before we start anything is a list of people that we can network to. So whether you're in this for retail only or whether you are wanting to business build, you will still need somebody or some people to talk to. So we need to create a list. So like I said, every business has one of some kind. Now our list, uh, we can start in our, in our First Steps to Manager book, um, where it says, who do you know list? Um, page 24 if I'm not mistaken. You can start in there and you can download extra sheets from your team pages in the files department. Um, so just speak to your upline about that if you're not if you're not sure where they are. So we need to start then with everybody that we can think of that we know. Now when I first thought about this I thought oh, I don't really know who I know and it's quite strange to actually to put down on paper people that I know, if I don't really know that many people, do I really need to put it down on paper? Yes we do, because it is so surprising how many people you think of while writing somebody else's name down, because it jogs your memory. So the first thing that I started with then was my phone. So I started with the contact list in my phone, and I wrote down, every, wrote down, I wrote down everybody that I knew that was in my phone, in my phone book. And then I wrote my friends and family down. So my nearest and dearest, you know, my husband, my mum, my sister. Um, now, what I started to think about when I was writing these names down was, will they really join? Would they really be interested? And I started to like skip people out. Um, now, my advice to you would be do not do that. Do not prejudge because you do not know um, what goes on behind closed doors for starters. You don't know whether they would be interested or not until you've spoken to them. Um, and secondly, it's not necessarily whether they are interested, but it may be who they know who's interested. So pop them down anyway. And also it doesn't matter if you can think of somebody, but you don't know how to contact them. So say for instance, you know Jane from the corner shop, but, she, but you don't know her contact details and you haven't got her on social media, that's okay because uh, the universe has a funny way of putting people in our place at the right times. So don't worry about that, just write her name down. So then I would go onto my social media accounts. So Facebook, um, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, you name it, Twitter, WhatsApp, you name it, um, I would have a list on there somewhere. So our friends list on Facebook, for instance, there is um, an option to go on and download your friends list. Now what a lot of people mis um, do as a mistake is they download their list and they use it as a printout. Now my advice to you would be to rewrite every single person that's on your friends list onto your who do you know list. So your separate file, your separate pieces of paper that you have handwritten. Because I promise you as you're going through that list and copying it out onto um, paper with pen, you will think of so many more people because it will jog your memory. So say for instance, um, Gemma from school. Now, I know Gemma from school, she's on my friends list. Uh, I went to school with Gemma. But, but just writing Gemma down from school reminded me of three more Gemmas that I also went to school with that aren't on Facebook or that I haven't got as a friend on Facebook. So then they went on my list and eventually I became friends with those on Facebook because then I could um, network with them. So, so it's so simple to be able to think of more people as you're writing these people down. So remember, don't judge. Um, email addresses, so any email addresses that you have for people, any contacts that you use through email. So those of you that work, may, this may be um, a priority for you. You guys may have a lots of contacts through your email um, lists. Um, so like I said, friends and family, make sure you're writing all of those down. So whether it be, like I said, your husband or your mum. Now, I, I wrote my nana down and at the time my nana was, I think she was 76. So obviously I was thinking, well, again, would she be, would she be interested in joining in? Probably not. <laughs> but my nana used to go to um, a bingo hall. 
And I know that at the bingo hall, there was a lady called Julie who used to read out the numbers. Now, Julie was a lot younger than my nana. Um, now, I only know Julie through my nana. I wrote Julie down. Um, and so Julie was somebody then that I could potentially contact and I could say, hello, um, my name's Danielle and I'm um, Rita's granddaughter. And I could contact her through that. So we have a mutual connection. So don't be, um, like I said, don't be judgmental on anybody um, as far as age or success. Because like I said, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. So that's another one. So you could also um, think of um, all of your school friends. So like I said, that you may not, you may not be on Facebook, Facebook with them or social media with them just yet. Um, but going back and thinking about your your childhood friends, your school friends, your uni friends, your college friends. Um, everybody basically that you know that you can think of um, at the top of your head so you empty your brain of all those people you empty your lists on social media and your phone um, contact lists and your email uh, database everything goes on one contact list one who do you know list and that will be what you base your business on moving forward from day one from as soon as you've got it sorted um, that is exactly what you work from day in, day out, whether it be to contact people about products or whether it be to contact people about um, the opportunity. You will need to work from that list. And then you will also notice in your first steps to manage a book, once you've emptied your head of all those people that I've just mentioned, that there is memory joggers. So, so just for instance, um, grandparents' friends, mum's friends, you know, parents' friends, um, cousins, distant, co distant cousins, you'll start trying to think about lots of other people um, that come from memory joggers. So who do you know that is outgoing? Who do you know that is successful already? Who do you know that works at a bank? Who do you know that works at a local school? So then you'll start writing those people down as well and it'll be, it'll be quite amazing um, how quickly and how large your who do you know list will get. So my advice to you, again, would be to get started, make sure you have at least 300 plus names on your Who Do You Know list before you have your first planning meeting. Um, that way you can make a start with your upline um, at contacting people and they will help you to contact people moving forward. So good luck with creating that list, guys, um, and I will see you all shortly.